Hi guys, Andy here again from Mad Lad Designs with a small playthrough series all about print and play games. Now these are games that you will download from a site and usually they'll be in a PDF format. Uh, you will print them out, you will then spend probably half the, half the night cutting out these cards or tiles or whatever it is and then you will end up gluing things together or putting them in sleeves like I've done. Well enough of me gabbing on, let's kick off this print and play mini series with a game called A Night in Deep Whale Manor. The door opened slowly with a tremulous creak and the two children peeked timidly from the threshold before making their way into the room. I knew it, said the smaller of the two boys. We've been in this room already. No. We haven't, replied the tall boy. He smiled with confidence as he scanned the room with his flashlight. But the darkness was so thick that it seemed to swallow the feeble ray. We have two, complained the small child. I'm starting to think that this was not a good idea. Maybe we should go back. I didn't want to come anyway. For the last time, no, we haven't. And you know that we can't go back until tomorrow. Our parents would know that we didn't go to the field trip. And stop grabbing my arm so tightly, you're hurting me. I'm not grabbing your arm, said the small child after a short silence. You are too, replied the tall child, a hint of nervousness in his voice. No, he isn't, said a deep, ghastly voice in their ears. And then the door slammed shut behind them. The game, um, A Night in Deepwell Manor, it was created in 2013 by, oh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, is it Javier? Javier? It's J-A-V-I-E-R and then Martin. I'm really sorry for butchering your name. Um, I also did the artwork, as so did Jenny Wustrich. Wustrich? Wustrich? <laughs> It's Jenny W U S T R I C H. I really do apologize for butchering these names. Let's take a look at them. Now this is one of the easy ones to print out because it is just a stack of cards. There's no chips or dice or cubes or anything else to take control of. It is just a stack of cards. And what I have done is I have printed them out on normal printer paper. They do have a, a front and they also have a back. I've printed them out on separate sheets of printer paper. You can print them out on card if you wish. This is the way I do it. I print them on paper and because I've got plenty of paper and my printer doesn't really take thick card. But then I, I, I put a plain card in between. You can get these from the pound shop. You get two packs for a pound and I just use them to go in between and then I've got some sleeves thousands of sleeves I have <laughs> because I need them uh, and then when it all goes in it's a fairly steady fairly sturdy card so what do we have well we have an entrance and I'll show you I'll tell you all about these shortly what they do next we have four characters Take a look. Each character has a special ability which you can, what the game calls, exhaust to use that ability. But obviously we all know it as tap from Magic the Gathering. So you tap the card to use the ability. And each card as well has two sides to it. Both sides are identical apart from down here at the bottom sorry about that I hit the camera there I don't think see that it says calm and on the other side it says terrified uh, and I'll show you how those come into play shortly but we have these four characters Lucian then Hadrian again terrified on one side calm on the other but exactly the same with the same powers and we have Serena 
and Rene. Now this is a game for one to two players uh, and you use just two characters. So what characters can we use? Let's just pick Rene and Serena for now. The other characters go to one side, we won't be using them. So we place those there. Now the rest of the deck is made up of two types of cards. The first is a, an encounter card. So basically when you draw one of these, you, you do this immediately. So let's take, see if we can see another. So there's different, there's different types. Panic, I'll show you shortly what that means. The other types are locations. The idea of the game is you are trying to visit as many locations as you can. And you'll notice help here, they have a exploration point. Oh, um, and that's how many points you will get if you explore this. And different ones have different points. You'll get two points for this one and so on and so on. There are others, kitchen. You'll also notice that they have text that needs to be done at the bottom. Again, I will explain all that when we come to it. I'm going to actually play the game and then I'll explain as we do it. So what we need to do is we need to shuffle these. Is there a card coming out there? Yes, there is. Push that back in. So we need to make sure these locations and these... Now we notice I've put uh, cards at the back of these ones like this, just to strengthen them up. We shuffle the pack. Like so. Try not to look at them. <laughs> These then go to one side. We put the entrance out. And then we can begin our game. So what we're doing is trying to visit as many locations as we can. We have three rounds or three tries through this manner. And each round, when we finished, we score the points. And then for the next round we score the points and the next round we score the points and then we add up all the scores at the end and then at, in the instructions there is a what do you call it like a list showing you what you are depending on what score you've got <laughs> so let's kick off by making sure that our characters are on the calm side yes Rene is also calm so this is a push your luck game and the idea is to visit as many locations as you can before your characters become terrified both characters become terrified and then panic you'll see what i mean as we play the game so let's start off by drawing the first card now it's a banshee However, if we look at our entrance card, it says, if an encounter is played here, shuffle it into the deck without activating its effect. This is an encounter card. So an encounter card, we don't play while we're at the entrance. It does say shuffle it, but I'm gonna put it at the bottom. So basically we're turning these over. Right, so this is our location that we're visiting, the basement. This text at the bottom here, we ignore this text unless another basement comes out. There are two of every location in the deck and when the first one comes out, we ignore this text. However, if we then draw, in this instance, as we're going through, if we draw another basement, then this text will come into effect. However, we've drawn out just one basement. We ignore this text. We place it down like so. So, so far we have two points. We can keep going. 
okay because this is our first underground passage we can ignore this text and keep going oh I have an encounter card bats play two cards immediately you cannot take any actions or leave the mansion between them at any time you can stop and say right I don't want to go any further and that's when you will start to add up your score so I need to draw two cards I put that in it so this is our first one padded cell do we have a padded cell no so that so that that text doesn't take effect we have no padded cell and our second card oh right <laughs> if ever we get a card that says panic we need to flip one of our cards over from calm to terrified okay so we do have a spectre that says panic so I think looking up the cards though we have Rene so we can exhaust him to cancel the effect of that card if we wished but I'm not going to not just yet I'm going to let that card take effect so panic so one of our characters panics flip them over and he's now terrified okay so we move on oh would you believe it right well I am going to use Rene's special ability of tapping his card to disregard this one I'm going to cancel the effect and I'm now going to exhaust Serena which allows me to unexhaust Rene okay so I exhaust that to exhaust this unexhaust I should say and then we keep going shrine we only have one shrine so we can ignore the text at the bottom willow the wisp look at the top card of the deck you may put it on the bottom of the deck okay we'll do that right activate the effect of your current location well here's our current location this top one shuffle one spectre encounter from the encounter discard pile back into the deck well we don't want to do that we certainly don't want so we can put this one on the bottom because the will of the wisp said we can look at the card and then put it in the bottom if we wish which we're going to do so we'll keep going kitchen do we have a kitchen nope so we can ignore the text keep going underground passage well yes we do so because we've already got an underground passage the text on this now takes effect shuffle one location from the location discard pile back into the deck hmm so the location discard pile is this so even though you're going through them it's classed as the discard pile so shuffle one location from the discard pile uh, and put it back into the deck oh let's go with the underground passage let's put that back in and then give me a shuffle okay so we shall carry on and we have a crypt we do not have a crypt out so that's okay we can ignore the text on that we shall carry on we do have a basement okay up there if at least one character is terrified well I'm afraid we do panic okay so I'm afraid Serena has gone now from calm to panic so now both our characters are panicked <laughs> so remember we can stop at any time I can say that's it I want to stop where I am now or I can keep going however if I draw another card 
that states panic because both characters are already terrified if I draw another panic card I lose the entire round so I will score nothing at all for these here okay so this is where the dilemma comes in do I want to push my luck and try for another location see if I can get one um, or do I stop there and say right that's it for that round I don't want to push me luck uh, I think uh, because I have still have I can cancel an effect of a, the, a card I think I want to push me luck because then I can cancel that effect for this one Ooh. <laughs> right I'm definitely going to cancel the effect of this card by exhausting Rene now do I do I tempt it do I try and get more points or shall I just stop where I am I think I will I <laughs> I think I will chance it I'm going to chance it if I turn over something that says panic or gets me to panic then I won't score anything at all <sighs> right here goes wish me luck guys it's going to be a banshee exhaust all terrified characters well they're already exhausted so this won't take any effect <laughs> shall I push me luck again yes of course why not if I stopped I just add up all these not including this current one so it'd be from the crypt the kitchen the shrine the padded cell the underground passage and the basement I would add up all that score and then I would play another round doing the exact same thing with the same characters so but I'm going to push me luck see what we get no <laughs> activate the effect of your current location which is the location on the top and the location on the top says if at least one character is terrified which they are panic I can't panic anymore I have lost that round I won't score anything at all so for round one I've scored nothing that's what you get for pushing your luck <laughs> oh, and then you just do the exact same thing you would then put these on the calm side unexhaust them then you would take all these cards shuffle everything back in again apart from the entrance and then you would start again by drawing the cards one at a time okay so that's how you play the game guys uh, dead simple play it in five minutes something you can have in your back pocket on the go and it's one of those push your luck and I quite like the artwork it's got that spooky feel to it it's not overly done let's take a look at some I do quite like the the artwork on this so yeah it's a fun little print and play game I will put a link to uh, where you can get it from um, in the description I'll also put the name of the person who did it as well because I know I've butchered the pronunciation of it but it is a nice little neat game I enjoy it push your luck game five minutes quick play a night in deep whale manor 
okay guys thanks for watching and join me next time when i show you another little print and play game until then i will catch you guys later